how are you managing your suffering? This is an uh, interesting question I heard uh, Paul Scott ask. He's from Vancouver, amazing uh, healer, you can say. And most of us are stuck in this mode of just getting or the day over with you know how we can spend this day so we're not bored most of our you know most of us in this planet are, are stuck in the question you know what will i do today especially you know with this um, thing that's happening all around us and everyone having all this free time sitting at home and feeling like we're not productive feeling like we're not doing anything feeling like I mean, the feeling of boredom is the simplest way to describe it. Most of most people are either reading the news, uh, they're probably sick of it by now, or they're watching TV, which they're probably sick of by now, or, or, or even watching movies. But like, how many movies can you watch before you get sick of watching movies? And then it's it's a question of you know how el you know how else will you manage your suffering? What else will you do? You pretty much run out of ideas. You know what what else do you have? You know some 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 maybe hobbies, uh, maybe maybe some some video games. Um, porn and that's about it and you just run out of things to do and you just you're doing the same things over and over that you don't like uh so you can manage your suffering and, and not face the problem head on this this planet whole planet seems seems to be living on uh, on the basis of how can we find a short-term solution to the problem i mean it's even kind of evident in the medical system where only symptoms are treated it's also visible in like depression you know where people you know just given uh pills which will make them like emotionless zombie zombies so yeah depression is not removed you just don't feel you have depression <laughs> you don't feel anything actually or pretty much any symptom that's happening today people the boredom it is, is a symptom of uh, i would say unfulfillment you're just looking of, of how how can you do something so you can avoid your current life or even drugs you know drugs are just a way or, or video games are just a way to get out of the current world because you're unhappy happy with the current world and it's that's that's definitely okay that's that's nothing to be ashamed of um the world we live in is is, is pretty pretty shit actually we're um, no offense to the world um i choose to to enjoy my time in this world but it, it's a fact that this the world we live in is is pretty fucked up the, right next to me i'm surrounded by garbage that some people just kindly threw on the ground because uh the garbage bin is is way too far away it's it's almost uh, i would say 100 yards or 200 yards or 200 meters we can say you know for the people watching from europe which is, a, which is really really far away so so the short-term solution is take your garbage and just you know throw it away and now it's somebody else's problem this is actually i'm actually in, inside um a school yard uh, because parks are closed and i'm not allowed to sit in the park <laughs> because sitting in the park can can you know is definitely dangerous for you especially you know when there's a dangerous virus with a with one percent death rate i i think i think driving cars has a higher death rate than that but let's let's move on <laughs> <laughs> my question to you is, is is what are you avoiding by doing the things you are doing are you just slowly killing yourself because i i think that the answer is yes for most people if, if you're eating any sort of sugar if you're eating anything basically from the supermarket you're slowly killing yourself Mo like every single gmo every single law uh, food in the supermarket that out right now has either some sort of herbicide pesticide preservative or uh, emulgator or, or some some type of chemical that's that's making it look the way it looks how much it lasts or produce bigger quantities for the sake of profit for a cheap chemical so that, that those people the people you know in the produce business so i have a couple of friends who are huge farmers i mean the, the stuff they put in, in in you know in these mass produced fruit vegetables and grains um no wonder you know not eating grains is, is healthy and no wonder not eating meat is is healthy it's because the meat we have access to and the grains we have access to are, are just slowly killing us so it's not about which diet you have it's, it's about what you actually eat so the, my, my actual actual question to you is like do you really are you really proud of the way you know you live your current life and uh, what can you do to make a small impact because the impact you do might just tip the balance in your own household and your this one household you know which changes the way it thinks might just tip the balance of you know the, 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 the your street and that that one street you live on when you tip the balance towards you know helping others and then trying to you know actually provide long-term solutions you might tip the balance in that county or township and which might tip the balance that city and will might tip the balance of the country which might tilt the balance in the whole world i mean we're told you know ever since uh, we grew up in this planet that one person cannot make a difference and i think that's the biggest lie lie at the moment so I urge you, stop yourself. I, I really urge you. Uh, look at the things that you, that you do when you're bored, and uh, just just be more bored. I think that's the solution. Because when you're bored, yeah, you 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 have to face the things around you. You have to face your own life. You have to face your decisions. You have to face the world you live in and the consequences of the of the things you've done to the world of the world you live in. So I really urge you guys to to stop 
killing yourself slowly and just managing the suffering in the meantime.